Hello everybody, Snack here and welcome, welcome to Star Value 1.6 and finally guys, we're able to play this awesome update from uh, Concerned Ape. Right off the bat, I'm going to be naming our character Snack and uh, the name of the farm is going to be Hello Farm and uh, favorite thing, it's going to be leftovers, man. <laughs> Alright, there you go. And if you see here, there are new animals actually, there is, this one is new. This is so adorable, look at this, also this black cat, uh, we also have this standard dog. This is one of my favorite actually, And but we're going to go ahead with this new pet. Okay, this one looks cool because it has a, a bandana, alright, that's cool. And also we have a new farm, Meadow Lands Farm. So it's not the best for growing crops, but there's a chewy blue grass that animals love. And you also start with two chickens. Awesome. So as for these advanced options, we'll just go ahead with the rand uh, with the standard stuff. And now for the hair, I have a plan actually, because if you see here, it says uh, blue grass that animals love. And I want to color my hair that same color. Uh, it's kind of blue, right? Let's see. Uh, blue, blue, almost blue like this. I think this is it. Okay, looking good. Okay, and then for the pants, I always look love to wear shorts it's just very comfortable for me and it should be the same color as our hair okay looking good and for the shirt this is actually my go to uh, go to shirt but uh i will do be doing something else now uh not this one all right this one looks good how i wish we could change the color of our boots man there's none oh our eye color should also be blue a bit blue <laughs> it's 49 okay Maybe a little black, so it will not look weird. So I'm thinking that since our hair is all the same as the blue grass that animals love, animals might stick in our hair as food in this game, but it's going to be awesome, right? It's going to be fun. But uh, let's see. So name is Snack, Farm's name is Hello Farm, and favorite thing is leftovers. Yeah. Yeah, that's the truth, man. I love uh, eating things that the, the flavor has concentrated for a few days. As long as it's not rotten, then it's fine for me. Okay, enough of that. Uh, Meadowlands farm it's uh set to that and let's go ahead and start our adventure okay Duke. now uh if you notice that uh, we are a little bit upbeat today because i am in a place that no one is actually asleep oh we have an hay hey 15 hay instead of parsnips cool so no one is asleep and i'm totally alone in the room so i could just you know talk whatever i wanted to say about uh, in, my, in my mind so <laughs> hope you don't mind guys so this one's for all the green horse okay we can chop wood and search for wild forages to earn some extra cash okay so one of that is gonna be uh fixing the bridge also for the for we're gonna be gathering 300 wood as soon as we can and look at that guys this is the farm it it's sim similar a bit similar to the standard farm for me but uh it's at least at this part when you get out in your, from your house, although each uh, space is more defined to where you should plant the farm. And for me, it is this one's way better because this it's a bit more organized, although it looks so messy right now. So at least this one here, we're going to be able to take advantage of this space to plant our initial crops. And it's not that overwhelming because the space is not that huge. Because at the standard farm, I feel like I'm obligated to clean up everything, use all the space. And oh man, it takes a lot of energy and effort, right? For now, let's clean up some stuff. But for me, this is a really smart move of Concerned Ape. Like it's it's perfect for people who's very busy. Because they don't really feel obligated again to clean up the whole thing is uh, from the previous map or the standard map. This is the whole thing right down he uh, here and then going down. It's the whole map that you need to clean up. And uh, it just, you don't have to, but it, it looks daunting a bit. So, oh, can't wait. Let's say hi to our cute little chickens. Hello. Hello. They're so happy, man. Oh, Clucky. Nice name. And Picky. <laughs> Picky. Okay. Let's set them free. I'm pretty sure they're excited as, and look at that, guys. Wait, hold on. Okay. Enjoy your food, little ones. <laughs> so we have here a waterfall. Wow, this is so beautiful. Oh man, I could I could stay here for a whole day. Uh, maybe. Oh, actually, I heard that one of the new features is that you can actually uh, set up camp. Oh, can't wait! It's, it's just the perfect time to play Stardew Valley, and who would have thought that? Concerned Ape will add a lot of features, including amping, which is one of my fa most favorite. And good thing the chickens did not eat our hair. Oh, look at this. This is what I'm talking about, the blue grass. Let's see if I did it correctly. Uh, mine is a bit darker, but it's almost the same color, which is fine, right? At least uh, my hair will still stand out if I'm here, and they're almost the same. Okay, makes sense. So it's 9.50. It looks like we need uh, to buy parsnips from Perry. And also get 50... Uh, 
trees for um or wood for the chest and if you look at the lower right hand corner uh, we need to make sure to have enough energy left to till the soil plant seeds and water them and if, if we have uh, more energy left at the end of the day we'll just continue cleaning up this mess so i'm pretty sure grandpa will be very happy of us taking care of his farm and it seems that we need to look with volume right at least okay that should do it and let's cut this wood all right now we have 65 69 wood time to craft first our very first chest of the game and i'm gonna put it in its favorite place it should be there it's mandatory i think because <laughs> it's the one nearest to the shipping bin and oh, all righty now let's go ahead and get to Perry store and let's see what seeds maybe i'm thinking of buying parsnips but um uh, maybe we'll do something else right we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll decide once we get to perry store and we are very lucky first day we have two daffodils and look at this i just noticed man that uh look at this it's like the whole screen this area here you can see the whole full screen unlike previously that there's a tunnel here like it's a bit uh limited but now it will show you that this is going somewhere to the left going somewhere to the right it's signifying that uh yeah, it's it's really uh looking like a highway going from Pelican Town to another city or another town, right? Hey, Granny, my favorite person in town. Look at this. Oh, we have a bookseller. It's cool. So we have the, the typical festival, egg festival, flower dance, another bookseller. And we have three mystery, what's this, events? Star drop events. All right. Now for the birthdays, I'm not good at birthdays. Sorry if I will I will forget. Uh, they should understand, right? Because, you know, I'm a very busy, busy farmer. And let's say hi to Leah. Hi, hello. It's nice to meet you. It says also that there's a new dialogue, but so far I've been hearing standard stuff. Hello, you must be Snack, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hello, Caroline. And also we have here Mr. Perry. Okay, sure. Uh, I'd be happy to check out your seeds. Yeah, let's go out with parsnips. I was thinking of uh, trying out the new seed but uh we are very our money is very limited how about the bag 24 slots 22,000 gold same same oh i just noticed there's actually uh this place the place where the girls exercises um there's a huge play uh carpet now which is a nice touch oh, who do we have here ah this is harvey actually it's a pleasure to meet you harvey the local doctor okay let's sit straight home and plant the parsnips and you know what i have a problem with this because you have 25 parsnips and uh i've been i've been playing i actually tried the game just to do a, to check how it works but i really couldn't get a perfect square or rectangle with 25 parsnips i'll show you later on yeah okay let, let's see okay i'll be back okay i'll show you what i mean just uh, stay in there okay, let me just tell the soil oh no i'm running out of energy please okay let's plant these seeds so 10 okay so this is one two one two three four five that's gonna be five right ah i know uh i'll do here oh okay i just figured it out so another five horizontal line or a uh, bad for the plant so anyway guys uh to let you know that i'm a newbie in this game although i sound like i'm a veteran but i'm not <laughs> maybe that's that's just how I, how I see myself but yeah i am totally new but the thing is i bought this game the same year it was released 2016 i never really got to reach one year so that's why i really consider myself even more worse than a noob right i have a lot all the priorities to play and at least finish one year or to go, to get to grandpa's uh, evaluation year i think that's gonna be a third year but i didn't so i think i'm worse than a noob but it's fine we'll, we'll do it now especially that we are at the, the 1.6 update there's a lot of things to do a lot of uh, secrets to discover and dialogues to converse with our fellow pelican townie so hence the name giga noob <laughs> okay well i was actually thinking when i was making the thumbnail i was thinking of which which person is the best and i i just couldn't the best person uh, uh i couldn't think anyone else but linus he's just the best man he's my buddy i asked him if i could do that picture with his face and he said yes why not <laughs> he's cool okay now i am stuck this is the part where i don't know what to do let me think Alrighty, guys so well although we don't have energy left we did or were able to forage things oh let's say hi to these little children hello vincent mama says not to talk to strangers but you seem okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine I i'm cool hi hello i'm penny <laughs> penny is she's, she's one of those uh, ladies that is not really noticed right away but i can tell that she's so pretty 
she's interesting and she loves books as well and also that tells because there's uh there's a bookseller event all the time there could be something new about penny right uh i'm not sure but maybe it's just uh i'm just doing theory crafting here <laughs> anyway oh look at this place there's actually oh okay i thought we could go through it but no we can't oh we have a daffodil oh let's give it to penny perfect man this is way perfect oh they are gone maybe they went home there you go oh oh okay well jazz that's fine jazz loves it so much it's perfect for her also let's say hi to elliot ah, a new farmer we've all been excited about and whose arrivals has sparked many a uh, conversation yes i know you i know you for a long time you're only you're the only person who's has house at the beach and i think almost everyone envies envies you for that because it will be great if when you know when you wake up you'll smell the ocean breeze right away ah man i wonder how it feels waking up by the beach so now let's just uh walk around let's see what's something new oh let's say hi to linus man let's say hi to him give him thanks for letting us you know make fun of his of his um making fun of his picture in a thumbnail well at least i actually again i asked his permission if i could do it and he said yes it's we're that close hey linus how you doing bro there's some flour for you that's a good fine i'm always happy with eating wild food thank you okay he also eats flowers okay a straight oh i thought we're buddies a stranger hello don't mind me i'm just living out here alone okay you do you for now buddy i think you're busy we have a wild horseradish oh i forgot to say hi to demetrius and also give him this gift what that was a very thoughtful of you greetings i'm demetrius local scientist and father thanks for introducing yourself awesome demetrius so this time what we're gonna we're gonna we're, what are we gonna be picking man i can't even talk have you met everyone in town yet sounds exhausting right totally but it's fun it's a bit exhausting you know because it takes energy but the people here are very cheery welcoming caring some though don't have don't have the mood to talk to someone especially to a newcomer but that's fine overall i have a good experience meeting new people in pelican town so it's a bit exhausting but fun it's fulfilling more on a fulfilling side and this will go here all right so tomorrow is gonna be raining looks like we're gonna be uh doing a lot of fishing and what other activity can we do can't wait and uh why not let's just clear the way going to the cave and maybe we'll see if how the cave looks like if we don't paint our way towards it oh okay ah perfect man and oh okay it looks the same so maybe this time i've been getting mushroom actually but maybe this time we're gonna be getting some strawberries the bat cave because uh i wanted to give everyone i want to befriend everyone as soon as possible and i've read that you know if you want to really up your relationships to everyone in town you can get the bat cave so you can use the fruits to as a gift which makes sense it's also a smart way of you know getting to know everybody oh let's just close our coop all right there you go good night everyone all right you guys thank you so much for hanging out i appreciate you all for watching the video and if you don't if you haven't liked yet you go ahead and do like the video as that would help me a lot oh now we're exhausted and also don't forget to subscribe to help grow the channel and to let me know that i'm doing the right thing <laughs> as always may we walk with patience and kindness because that is what love is once again this is snack and you do have a wonderful day ahead see you in the next video goodbye